Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. And I love you. <laughs> okay. So, Valentine's Day is next week. And if you didn't see last week's project, I did the Forever Rose. I'll link it in the description below. I want to stay on the subject of Valentine's Day. Everybody wants to be loved, right? I got this idea of a card, like a Valentine's Day card that's made out of acrylic with a hidden message. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the idea that I got for this card is I want it to just be, it's going to be a simple, I just want it to be like a rectangle something like that and i'm gonna cut it out in the middle and i think i want to put a half of a heart right here i don't know how to draw so and i'm gonna put the other half of the heart on this side behind this part i want to have like i'm gonna have like a little cutout part like this and i'm going to glue this side to the back or something and i want the heart to be half on this side and the other heart from this side so when you pull this part out, it'll say, I love you. And when you pull it out, this heart will come over to this heart and it'll form one heart. So now let's go find some colors of acrylic and we can see what we can come up with. Uh, look at that right there. Definitely gonna use some red acrylic, some white acrylic. So now we finna design this acrylic hidden message Valentine's Day card. Okay, so now we're in the Glowforge interface. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to insert a shape, insert a square. We're gonna make sure that this lock ratio is unlocked and we're gonna make it six wide and four in height. Put it over here to the side and we're gonna insert another square, but we're gonna make this one four by 0.5. To get this in directly in the center of this, we're just gonna use the position right here. You gotta make sure that you have it in the center and then you can see that your X and Y axis. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna type in in the X, 3.479 is gonna move it right there. And we're gonna change the Y axis to 2.627. And then it's gonna line it up directly in the center. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here to unknown and we're gonna change it to medium white acrylic. So therefore we can cut it out. Okay. We got the first cut out together. The message part is going to be the same size as this, which is four by six, but inside of the cutout, we're gonna do the actual message. Okay, we're back in the interface. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a text. The text that I'm using is Beavis, and we're going to type in, I love you, period. We're gonna hit return, and basically what we're gonna do is, we're gonna zoom in a little bit, and we're going to line up this inside of this little square box like this. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And that's how we're gonna do this. And then this middle box right here, which is this one, we're going to ignore it. We're gonna press the I love you, change it from this to a draft graphic engrave. Okay, we have the message right here. Okay, let's make sure that it fits. So it's gonna go like that and it fits really, really good. I'm going to fill it in with some black acrylic paint. We gotta measure our pullout part. I know I'm gonna have it something like this and it's gonna come out to about right here. So we're just probably gonna make it about six and the height is going to be two. But we're gonna cut this part out in some black acrylic. Okay, we got it cut out. So it's basically gonna go like this and on top of here like that. That's how it's gonna go. But keep in mind, it's gonna be behind it. As you can see, you see we got this part right here. Looks like a long C, because since we know this is four inches by six, and we did, this is six inches also. So we know we got one inch right here, one inch right here, and one inch right here. I'm gonna show you how I made this C-shaped thing. Inserted another square. The height is going to be 
four and the width is going to be one and we're going to move that to the side right there and we're going to insert another square and this one is going to be six and the height is going to be one how to line these two up what we're going to do is we're going to select this and we're going to go up here to the corner the left corner at the top and we got 7.73 and 501 501 we got it lined up just right since we already got this one we're just going to select it and it's going to be the same size at the bottom and we're going to double click we're going to make a copy and we're going to double click again and we're going to paste but then we're going to click on this one and we're going to go to the bottom left corner right here and get that access 7.73 4.501 7.73 so we're going to select the entire thing, all three parts that we just made, and we're going to create an outline. Create new outline. It's going to default to 0.25, but we're gonna select it and we're gonna make it 0, 0.0, just like so. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna move it down to the side like that. We're gonna delete it. And then we have our C-shape cut out. So we have the C. <laughs> As you can see, it looks exactly like a C or something. And we want to make sure that it slides in and out pretty smooth. So it's going to go like this. Okay, cool. next thing we're going to make is a heart broken. We're going to go up here, we're going to import artwork, and we're going to type in the search graphic, broken heart. This one right here looks pretty cool. So we're going to take this one, and we're going to move over here to the side. It's at engrave. Let's change it to cut. And we're going to make this heart about one and a half inches in height. That's cool. Okay, cool. So the heart is basically gonna go, half is gonna go right here and the other half is gonna go over here. As you can see right here, so we're gonna cut out a little half inch block to go right here to stick to the back of this. Got the cut out. Got the little half inch block cut out, but I don't know if I want to use some acrylic solvent or some double-sided Gorilla Tape. Probably the double-sided Gorilla Tape. This is one of them gifts that you give to your wife or your girlfriend, husband, or whatever, and it's just sitting on a dresser, a nightstand or something like that. And if it's closed, that means she's mad at you. But if it's open, y'all good. Let me know in the comments how you think I did with this project. What would you do different about this project? Any tips or anything like that? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 20K subscribers. And if you do that, I would really, really appreciate it. But yeah, see y'all in the next project. Let's go make something else. Cause I know it will be hard to make in love with you. Love is in the air tonight. I am you always want to have this thing open. I always want to see it open.